happy to meet you online at the Culture Track of Apache Khan Asia. I'm Jiang Bo, the COO of Sigma 4 Developer Community, board member of Kaiyuan She, Apache Local Community Beijing Chapter member, and the organizer of Apache Khan Asia 2021 and 2022. Today, I want to talk about how I understand open source culture and the Apache way, and how we use it on the Sigma 4 community governance. First, let's talk about the word community. What is community? In the Oxford Dictionary, the word community has the following meanings. First, all the people who live in a particular area, country, etc. when talked as a group. And the second is group of people who share the same religion, race, job, etc. And the third one is a biology concept. In our life then, Specifically, the following forms of things will be called communities, such as location-based community, maybe street, neighborhood council, and a website we call BBIs, where people exchange their ideas there. And sometimes we also call a WeChat, Slack, Telegram group as community, and also the open source software community. And sometimes uh, fans will uh, use a group for a product or a brand. Firstly, what we are discussing today is certainly now the location-based community mentioned in the first point. But the rest of them are not exactly what we define as community either. What is community? In my opinion, the essence of the community is consensus. That is, People who share a certain value and collaborative culture come together to achieve a common goal and interact to influence. In my opinion, therefore, a community must have three elements. Users, shared beliefs or goals, and a platform. This is the biggest difference between a content-based community and a regular BBI site. For example, there is a very young video site in China called Bilibili. Many Gen Z young people communicate here. These users have a unique discourse system and a strong sense of belonging. It is a good community, different from traditional video sites such as IG, QQ TV, or you call something else. When talking about the development of a community, it is often a cycle. To be more specific, when well, a community is first formed, it may bring together just a few like-minded people who come together to create something and then work together to improve the project. As the project grows, more and more people are attracted to it and then join. At this point, as the number of people grows, the diversity of the community not only brings new energy to the community, but also some contention and conflict. This is a time when people need to come together to make and improve some rules. And these rules, some people may feel uncomfortable and leave, and those who stay are like-minded people. Then we all enter a new cycle together, creating, improving, attracting more people to join, some people with different ideas leave, and so on. Only a platform that meets this above three basic elements and the law of community development, in my view, can be called a community. And after talking about my understanding of community, let's talk about the topic of the open source culture. I'm still a very freshman in the open source world. I've been working with Apache projects since my first day in open source world, participating in the Apache China Roadshow, the ALC Beijing meetups, so my understanding of open source culture is heavily influenced by the Apache way. On the official website of Apache, there is an explanation of Apache way that highlights four main points. They are earned authority, community of peers, open communications, and a consensus decision making. To be more specific, there are many rules for that, such as the ASI requires all communications related to the code and decision-making to be publicly accessible. 
and all individuals are given the opportunity to participate. But their influence is based on their contribution to the community and many other rules about decision making and voting. As Glenn Moody said, the greatest value of the Apache way is to distill the essence of the development process and ethos in such a way that other cognate projects can adopt and adapt it. Similarly, the ethos can be used in many other areas besides open source software development. In my opinion, the essence of open source is open collaboration, and the Apache way, as described before, is the best practice that can get us to collaborate more effectively. Let's look at two examples of open collaboration, which are now in the field of software development. The first one is a project called Wuhan 2020 which you may have heard before. This is a public benefit project that was founded in 2020 when COVID-19 just exploded in Wuhan. It was created by members of the Kaiyuan Shu and X Lab. People collaborated efficiently through GitHub to collect and share information on COVID-19 prevention. This project was once on the GitHub rankings, and contributors from all over the world came together to help Wuhan through the difficult times. And the second project is a ranking of open source developers in China called Open Source Re, which is co-founded by us, Simon for Team, and Kai Yuan Shu and XLab. The Open Digger team from XLab selected the top 10,000 GitHub accounts for the year 2021 and ranked them with their collaborative influence and other information. And the volunteers from many communities worked together openly to verify and mark up information, excluding the board accounts and to select the top 99 Chinese developers. We all know that analyzing the data of these 10,000 developers is a huge amount of work, and it is the open collaboration that makes this work more efficient. As you can see, a good understanding of the Apache way and the use of open and collaborative thinking can greatly enhance the efficiency of all aspects of our daily work and life. Finally, Let's talk about ourselves, the Sigma Fox developer community. How did we build the technical Q&A community in the open source way? Let's start with a brief introduction of our team. Sigma Fox is the leading technical Q&A community in China, founded in June 2012. We have over 6.7 million registered users and over 17 million unique visitors per month. As the world's largest Chinese technical Q&A community, we have helped developers solve over 1 million questions. If you are a Chinese developer, you must have used Sigma 4 in your daily work before. And if you are a foreign developer, to help you understand, you can think of us as the Chinese Stack Overflow. In fact, whether in China or abroad, you can see a lot of communities and communication platforms for developers. So what is the biggest difference between Sigma Fault and the others? As a young community just about 10 years old, the key to our rapid growth, even beyond many elders, is open governance. Obviously, we are not an open source software community. In fact, we share a lot of similarities with the governance of open source communities. Let's start by looking at the user's journey in an open source software community. First, you may become a user of an open source software project. And when you agree with the value of the software and their development strategy, you will not be satisfied with just being a user. 
uh, you will start to participate in discussions on the mailing list of the project and provide patches, documentation, and suggestions. At this point, you will be promoted to a developer or contributor of the project. As you continue to refine your skills, start submitting bug reports, contributing code, participating in mailing list discussions and community building. You may be invited to become a committer or a maintainer. Through a period, when you become an influential contributor, you may be further elected to the project management committee to participate more deeply in the management and decision making of this open source project. And it is the same as Sigma Fault. At first, as a current user, you may just browse and learn here, read great technical blogs and copy and paste solutions from the Q&A section. And in the process, everyone can contribute articles, questions and answers and become a contributor to the community. As you continue to contribute, you will earn higher and higher community authority. And when you reach a certain level of reputation credits, you will have permission to edit other people's content and create new tags, etc. At this point, we call this type of user a maintainer of Sigmafort. Over time, as you become an influential contributor, you will be invited to join Sigmafort's collective review center decide on the retention of controversial content and participate in making decisions about the future of Sigma for community. At Sigma Fault, we place a strong emphasis on open communications. We share ourselves on the products, community operations and development in our official blog. We have publicly accessible rules for community reputation credits. In the community, we have an open site where every user can come and participate in discussions about build the community. And Sigma Fort has a collective review center where voting is used to decide whether controversial community content stays or goes. And all of this is publicly accessible. Sigma Fort is now centralized, and every user can participate in managing the community. You are all the owner of the community. And not long ago, Sigma 4 celebrated its 10th anniversary, and a lot of users left their best wishes in the community, and two of them really struck me. They learned and grew in Sigma 4 and will help by their peers. And now they are more senior developers and are willing to have more people in the community. As Sigma Fault, new users are constantly joining and new young people are constantly becoming maintainers and joining the community development committee. That is the key to the long-term vitality of the community. Okay. Time flies, and today I share about our thinking about communities and how we operate an open source approach to running a content community. And finally, I would like to say that the experience on how to build a Q&A community may not be useful for everyone. But what I really want to express is everyone should learn something about the essence of open source culture because it can be used not only in open source software development, not only in the content community operation, but also in all aspects. And the construction of a technical Q&A community is just one example. Let us together disrupt traditional collaboration models with open source culture, improving collaboration efficiency with our open mind and scientific rules, maybe in the Apache way or in our own way. The mission of Sigma Fort is gathering collective intelligence and driving technology progress. Hope we can work together on it. That's the end of my speaking. 
Thank you very much for your listening. And if you want further discussion, please feel free to contact me. Here's my email, e-chat number, Telegram, and Twitter. Hope to see you next time. Bye-bye.